Hey folks, it's Steven Rondina from WinGG here, and I'm here to talk with you today about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The ninth Pokemon generation was revealed back in February, and so far there aren't too many details released about the game, at least officially. But the good news is that there's still a lot to talk about, and we do know a good bit about what's in store for when the game releases. We're going to be getting into it, but make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video, and let's get started. So the big thing that we know about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is that it seems to be using Pokemon Legends Arceus as a foundation for its gameplay. There are two big differences set to come between those two games though. Pokemon Legends Arceus blew up the established game formula by letting the player trail a Pokemon roaming around the world and hitting it with a Pokeball to catch it without ever actually engaging in battle. This mechanic was very well liked, but unfortunately it's set to go away in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The website explicitly says as much too. Quote, you'll be able to experience the true joy of the Pokemon series, battling against wild Pokemon in order to catch them, now in an open world game that players of any age can enjoy. Now you can certainly give the side eye to Nintendo saying that the true joy of the Pokemon experience is battling wild Pokemon, but regardless, that mechanic is said to go away, and that stinks, but that quote did include a little bit of good news in it. While well, Pokemon Legends Arceus had very large open environments that you could freely explore and even access areas you weren't necessarily supposed to be in yet, it wasn't actually an open world game. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet though are actually meant to have fully open worlds. This is the first time in the entire Pokemon franchise and the site actually explicitly states this. Quote, the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video games, the newest chapters in the Pokemon series, are coming to the Nintendo Switch later this year. With these new titles, the Pokemon series takes a new evolutionary step, allowing you to explore freely in a richly expressed open world. This is seemingly backed up with a lot of cool videos showing off new environments that are much more detailed and much more nice to look at than anything in Pokemon Legends Arceus. We don't know how good the game is going to be yet, of course, but there's very good cause to be positive about it. Now this is the start of the ninth Pokemon generation and naturally, that means there's going to be a new region to play around in. In this case, we're getting a new region based on the Iberian Peninsula in Europe. For the second generation in a row, and the third time in four generations, Pokemon games are going to be set in Europe. In Scarlet and Violet's case, they'll take place in a new region based on Spain and Portugal. This was teased in the initial trailer for the game, which included a map of the real-life Iberian Peninsula. While the first four Pokemon generations were all based on parts of Japan, Black and White saw things move to the United States, and the series isn't set to return yet. So far we know that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are said to have very large cities and lots of interesting terrain, particularly with a lot of mountainous regions. We're excited to see where this goes, and once again, there's a lot of cause to look forward to this. And of course, with a new region comes a set of new Pokemon. The highlight of which that we've seen so far is Fucoco, Sprigatito, and Quaxley. For the first time in a long while, we've actually seen a generally positive reception to the new starters shown off for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Fucoco is basically in the same vein as a Totodile, with a kind of goofy energy and a dinosaur-like appearance, even though it has a slice of cheese stuck to its chest. Quaxley is also said to be a fun addition to the series, with a fun hat that gives it a unique look relative to other Pokemon in the series. And last up is Sprigatito, which is easily the most popular so far, despite the fact that we actually had a different starter cat just a couple of generations ago. Now we've only actually seen a few new Pokemon revealed for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet at this point. The good news is that as the game's release approaches, we're set to see many more. Now let's talk about version differences between Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now each Pokemon generation takes a different approach to this, but we don't actually know what's going on with Scarlet and Violet quite yet but we do know that there's said to be at least one extra little difference that wasn't present in the past. Each Pokemon generation has had a handful of Pokemon that can only be obtained in one of the two games. But on top of that, some generations have gone a couple of steps further. In Pokemon Sun and Moon, this was a flipped day-night cycle. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, there were actually different sets of gym leaders based on which game you were playing. And in Pokemon Black and White, you actually had one city that was completely different depending on which version of the game you were playing. We don't know how wild the Pokemon Company and Game Freak are set to go with this, but we do know that there's one difference between the games that we haven't actually seen in the past, and that's a different color motif between Scarlet and Violet. We do know that the trainers of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are set to have outfits that reflect the color of the game that you're playing. Past that though, we don't really know what the version differences are going to be. We'll ultimately find out more information on this as the game's release approaches. 
So that's what we know about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet so far. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And once again, make sure you subscribe to WinGG to keep up with all of our Pokemon news.